California is living through some of its driest years in a century. Uh, right now, almost 99% of California is drier than normal. California is our biggest economy. California is our biggest agricultural producer. So what happens here matters to every working American, right down to the cost of food that you put on your table. And that's why last month, Governor Brown declared a state of emergency. And together, our administrations launched a coordinated response. But they're just the first step. Droughts have obviously been a part of life out in the West uh, since before any of us were around. And water politics in California have always been complicated. But scientific evidence shows that a change in climate is going to make them more intense. Scientists will debate whether a particular storm or drought reflects patterns of climate change. But one thing that is undeniable is that changing temperatures influence drought in at least three ways. Number one, more rain falls in extreme downpours, so more water is lost to run off and captured for use. Number two, more precipitation in the mountains falls as rain rather than snow, so rivers run dry earlier in the year. Number three, soil and reservoirs lose more water to evaporation year round. We can't think of this simply as a zero sum game. It can't just be a matter of there's going to be less and less water, so I'm going to grab more and more uh, of a shrinking share of water. Instead, what we have to do is all come together and figure out how are we all going to make sure that agricultural needs, urban needs, industrial needs, environmental and, and conservation concerns are all addressed. Uh, and that's going to be a, a big project, but it's one that I'm confident we can do. We're going to have to all work together in the years to come to make sure that uh, we address this challenge and leave this incredible land uh, and bounty to our children and our grandchildren uh, in at least as good shape as we found it.